what's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today i'm pulling up just like i'm feeling really good i've gotten a shit ton of filming done now whether i will get it edited or not whole different story i'm not even pulling up with coffee today i never drink soda but i got these sent in a pr package and um i love them i had to go to like four different walmarts finally found them and now i'm enjoying it uh strawberries and cream dr pepper sounds strange Tastes really good. So today I'm pulling up with some fragrance. Some of y'all were like, Brie, I hope you're not forgetting about us fragrance girlies. Look, I'll be real with y'all. The bookish content has really had my heart these days. So I've been lacking in several areas, but that don't think I forgot about you, okay? <laughs> today we're going to be talking about some spring, summer fragrances. Fragrances that I feel like you need to have in your collection. For when things start to heat up now where i'm at it's been real questionable like we had to turn the fireplace on this morning it was so cold but then it will just get really really hot do i know what's happening no um is the is the earth suffering absolutely but here we are <laughs> several of these fragrances are staples in my collection and then a couple are actually brand new and i even have an oil to share with you as well um a few of these were sent to me, just FYI, but these are all my opinions. Y'all know how I do. You can't buy it, girl, okay? So if you're interested in seeing my top fragrance picks for some of these gonna have you smelling like warm, yummy skin, delectable, just keep on watching. First things first is my scent of the day. And the perfume that has been breaking the internet. This fragrance house stays getting shit from everybody and when I saw this fragrance first when I saw this fragrance it actually wasn't even released people were doing illegal shit and selling selling it on Mercari before the release date y'all need to stop doing that but <laughs> um when I heard that Kaoli was coming out with the pistachio fragrance I knew that I wanted to pick it up I did not foresee that I would end up getting a bottle from Kaoli themselves this is Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. This is what she looks like. How stunning is this bottle? Y'all know I love Kaoli packaging. Um, it's everything. I love the like sea glass kind of situation with the white cap. And it does not, like this is their regular caps, but it's painted very well the, the cap is very high quality so it's not like some weird like plasticky situation like it's still like that high quality top that you get on all of their bottles um and this is a pistachio forward fragrance and this is a gourmand this features notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream and marshmallow and cotton candy and so these are all of the notes that you really get in the mid and the base of this fragrance but this does include other notes including bergamot and some cedar a lot of people have been giving this fragrance shit i'll just be honest with y'all i love this absolutely love this and if you paid attention to the notes that are in the top then you understand why i love it because if you've been watching my fragrance videos for any amount of time you guys know the types of gourmands that i love and i love gourmands that have an aromatic opening that settles into a sweet warm thick edible fragrance on the skin and that is what this is this to me is not any different in its um construction than something like my favorite febless use or um angel muse from mugler i feel like this fits the profile of so many popular gourmands this is not an outright regular pistachio fragrance now let's be real if she had given us an outright regular pistachio fragrance and everybody would be like it's not niche enough it's not unique enough it's so run-of-the-mill and then 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 yeah and then now that it's not that now people are mad i will put it this way if you are not cut out for complex fragrances, then I don't think that you should pick this up. And that's not a slight to anybody. Not everybody likes complex fragrances. That's just life. <laughs> um, if you're not cut out for complex fragrances, and I don't think that this will be for you. But if you are a lover of fragrances like 
the gourmands that you get from Mugler. Actually, I think the perfumer who created Angel is the perfumer who created this. And knowing that makes so much sense. Um, if you like Angel, if you like Angel Muse, if you like Fabulous Use, um, or even scents like Coffee Break from Maison Margiela Replica, I highly suggest picking this up. Upon initial spray, I get a lot of that bergamot, a little bit of the cedar, but it's also wrapped in this sweet cotton candy marshmallow as well. So it's not a full-on blast of bergamot. You still get some of those sweeter notes like the marshmallow and the cotton candy. As this dries down on the skin, this becomes very nutty, creamy, boozy, sweet. Um, the best way that I can describe how this actually settles on the skin and the scent that you get throughout the day is if you went to the store and picked up a boozy pistachio gelato. Um, there's like a brand that sells like ice cream with liquor in it. And that's what I think if you got that, but it was pistachio ice cream, that's what that would be with heaps of whipped cream, heaps of whipped cream. Um, you get more of the cotton candy, I feel like in the opening. And then once this tails off after like the seven hour mark, um, it you're left with that sweet whipped cream and cotton candy. This is beautiful. This is one of those fragrances that is very layered and it does not stay the same throughout the wear of the fragrance, but it is delicious. I've had several people smell this on me and they said that it smelled so good. So far, the majority of the people that I have had sniff this have loved it. Um, and I feel like this is the perfect spring summer gourmand. Um, this is not too thick and syrupy. The marshmallow and cotton candy notes and that blast of bergamot make this very wearable for um, more warm, humid weather. I love this. Do I think that this fragrance is for everybody? No, but if you're a gourmand lover and you're looking for a good gourmand for the summertime, I think that you need to go and give this a sniff, check it out. Um, I am so happy to have this in my collection and I have to give a huge thank you to Kayali for sending this over to me. Um, I love them and I love Mona. I think Mona is one of the sweetest people on the planet. And you guys know I have said time and time again with fragrances that I have purchased with my own money that I feel like Kayali is frequently unfairly cr critiqued and unfairly pigeonholed. I've said it in other videos and I will say it again. I still feel that way. My opinion has not changed. I really enjoy this and I love that whenever we get something new from Mona, it's never what we fully expect. And I'm and with let's lean into more of the fruity, clean, crisp. Now you guys know I don't like to go too clean. I'm not a lover of like straight up laundry type fragrances. Um, I'm a gourmand before anything and I will definitely go like shampooy fruity before I go straight up like linen-y. Actually, a lot of fragrances that are more like clean and linen-y actually give me a headache. So I have two here from Skylar Clean Beauty that are my absolute favorites. Now, again, um, both of these fragrances were sent to me. One of them was sent to me over a year ago and another was sent to me literally like yesterday. I got this in the mail and I was so excited to get it. I've been wearing it and I am obsessed. Let's talk about them. I need a moment to rave about this fragrance right here. Live Lime Sands from Skylar Clean Beauty is probably one of, actually not probably, this is my favorite citrus scent of all time. I feel like citrus can be up in the air for a lot of people because it can sometimes lean a little headachey. It can lean a little like, not laundry detergent, but more like, um household all-purpose cleaner kind of situation this right here is tart salty sweet refreshing effervescent um the scent profile on this is very very simple this is literally sea salt lime um and what else coconut water yeah sea salt lime and coconut water so this isn't a super creamy overly sweet coconut. This is a very fresh aquatic coconut. This is giving margarita. First of all, the lime in this, it's so effervescent. Like it's, it's fuzzy. It's tart, but sweet and juicy. It almost to me reminds me of if instead of doing the margarita with the salt rim, you do your margarita with a sugar rim with lime. 
zested into it. That's kind of what this smells like to me. It kind of gives like like a, a fizzy lime drink type of feel. You also have those salty aquatic notes in there as well. And it makes, it just gives you this warm, soft, clean skin kind of scent. I live. When I, when I saw this, I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to like it. You know, because like lime, I don't really wear like a lot of lime fragrances, truthfully. But this shocked the hell out of me. This is such a good fragrance. Um, and it is long lasting. I was not expecting this to last as long as it does. And I will also say, um, this is not the Kaoli. It's not a huge projector, but it lasts eight hours on my skin. I can smell it on me all day. I would say the projection is about like medium. But this does, I would say, the projection is not super far reaching, but it's far enough. This lasts for hours and hours and hours. If you're looking for a cleaner, more aquatic scent, Something that's actually going to last on your skin because most of these citrusy, bright, fresh fragrances are not made to last. Like, they just don't. It's just kind of the nature of those scent profiles. They just don't last like that. But this does. So good. I feel like this stands out on its own. It's one that makes people kind of stop and look because it just smells like so warm and inviting and fresh and fun. Youthful but not juvenile. Um, but I feel like this also is going to be a great mixer with other fragrances. I have other fragrances in my collection that I cannot wait to mix this with that I feel like are going to really make this scent pop. And I feel like this scent is going to bring out some really great notes and other fragrances that I love. This is amazing, y'all. If you are looking for a new summer scent, something that's going to be easy, kind of like a dumb reach, but also smells special, smells different. I highly suggest this. There's just something so fresh and almost very natural about it. I, I love it. Thank you to Skylar for sending this to me. They are constantly sending me fragrances. They're one of my favorite fragrance houses, actually, because they make very approachable, um, interesting fragrances. And this is no different. I, I'm going to be wearing this out, y'all. And then this is one that I fell in love with last year. I feel like this is a beautiful scent all year really but there are notes in this that I feel like lend very well to spring and summer and that is indigo valley from Skylar Clean Beauty y'all can see I've been wearing I've been wearing her I've been wearing her she got a dent <laughs> um I would say that this is my all-time favorite fragrance from Skylar Clean Beauty I also love the atomizers on Skylar's fragrances Skylar and um, Kayali have some of the best atomizers on their bottles. This is a really beautiful woodsy blueberry scent. So this has blueberry mocha. There's some cedar wood in here and also some lotus flower as well. So it is a little warm, a little aquatic, and a little fruity sweet. I love this. There's something very comforting about this scent. I think it might be like the cedar that's in the fragrance. Um, it's just enough cedar that it's not super duper masculine earthy. It's just enough to kind of ground this fragrance and make it warm and comforting. The Lotus adds a freshness to it and that blueberry mocha gives it a really nice, unique sweetness. This is not a straight up coffee fragrance. So if that's what you're looking for, that's not what you're gonna get from this. But it is so good. I actually wear this a lot to bed because this kind of, it kind of makes me fall asleep a little bit. It is one of those fragrances that to me, I just find it very, very comforting. It just wraps around my skin like a blanket. It's so nice. It is one that I get lots of compliments on when I do wear it out. But it's one of my favorite fragrances to wear at home. Um, but this does so well in the heat. You guys know, um, I'm not just a straight up fresh scent girl. I like fresh with warmth, right? And I feel like this is the perfect mix of fresh, aquatic, sweet, warm. It, it's just beautiful. It's so comforting. It gives me everything I need for a summertime fragrance. Um, if you have been like wondering like what is a great like go-to for um, Skylar Clean Beauty, I feel like the vanilla is always like a standard go-to. If you love vanilla, pick that up. But this one right here, Indigo Valley, I feel like is one of the more unique fragrances that is easy to take a gamble on.
the blueberry and the lotus notes in this make this such a beautiful approachable fragrance but it's full composition is very unique and it doesn't smell like anything else I own. Again, thank you to Skylar because both of these were sent um, from the Skylar team. Some of my favorite fragrances, these two are everything. This one was a discovery last year. One of my favorite discoveries from last year um, and my first introduction to this brand. Um, this fragrance is from Ellis Brooklyn and it is Sunfruit. Can we just talk about how cute this bottle is? I love it. They have another one that just came out that I think is called Florist and it's in like a hot pink bottle and y'all know I want it. Y'all know I want it. But Sunfruit is a beautiful solar fig fragrance. Um, this has solar notes. There are notes of fig and some juicy, tangy, fruity notes in there as well. Some citruses, some sunfruit. Um, but really what's the most prominent is that really creamy fig note that is so beautiful. This really is up there with that warm, summery, slightly floral fragrance for me. And I love this. It is so good. It doesn't project too heavy. I think that if this did project too heavy, I think it would be kind of sickening for people. But it just warms up on the skin so beautifully. And it gives you this really sun-kissed, warm, creamy skin scent that it just, it, it smells like you sweat that good. Like that's the only way I can describe it. Like if you sweat good fragrance, that's what I feel like this gives, you know? <laughs> Something with the creaminess of the fig that makes this smell so warm, creamy, skin-like. And I love it. I don't own a lot of fig fragrances, but I'm happy that this is one that I own because I feel like it just leans very unique. This is just such a, beaut a beautiful summertime, fruity, warm floral. It's one that I just cannot pick up in colder weather because it just smells like a vacation to me. I would take this on vacation if I had anywhere to go on vacation. This is a beautiful fragrance. Um, If you're looking for something that is more on the warm side, if you're looking for a good introduction to fig, then I feel like this is a really great one to go for. And I have been loving layering this on top of my Daily Radiance Body Oil from Butter Me Up Good Skin Care. Um, it has nourishing properties that give your skin a silk and luminous finish. And this shares its scent with the pineapple guava um, body butter from Butter Me Up Good. So if you like that scent, it's amazing. The best way I can describe that is pineapple guava with like a warm cashmere and slightly coconutty base. This is warm. This is like a warm fruity floral on steroids and I love it. And the formula of this oil is phenomenal. It leaves your skin super duper silky. Um, it is one of my favorite oils. Um, one of my favorite body oil formulations because it just leaves your skin so soft touch. Um, and it leaves it luminous and glowy, but it literally makes your skin feel like like silk. These two together, oh, it, it smells like sex on the beach. It's the only way I can describe it. It's sex on the beach. Um, I do have a brand rep code with Butter Me Up Goods. It will be down in the description and on the screen right here. It'll get you 15% off of your order with Butter Me Up Goods. But these two together are phenomenal. This on its own is amazing. You can put this on and you don't need perfume. It smells so good. It's so fragrant. It lasts. If, if you don't want to smell like this all day, don't put this on. I'm just telling you now. But if you want to smell like the best, like warm, sweet, creamy floral ever, this, and then layer it with this. And you are going to smell delectable all freaking day long. Every time the warm weather rolls around, I have to pull this out. It's amazing on its own. It's super strong, but also lends itself to mixing with so many other fragrances in my collection. And there really isn't a coconut fragrance in my collection that beats this as far as longevity, projection, and all those other things go. And that is Intense TRA from Montal. This is the coconut 
floral. Like, if you need a coconutty, summertime, sunscreeny floral, get this. Um, even though that's not necessarily the most unique scent on the market, nothing is going to last the way that Montal does. Um, Montal scents are very oily. They're very oil-based, um, and they last for hours, for days, for weeks. I have Montal fragrances that I've sprayed on winter coats that still smell like those fragrances. Um, this is Tiare Flower with a creamy coconut base, some solar notes, and some vanilla. It is sweet. It is warm. It is inviting. This is warm skin poolside. Like, <laughs> it's just so good. There's no way you can smell this and not think vacation. There's no way that you can smell this and not think summer. I know not everyone goes for like a kind of sunscreeny lotion fragrance, but this is more than that. The tiara in this is so developed. It is beautiful. The Tiare Flower in this is my favorite take on Tiare Flower. And Tiare Flower is one of my favorite notes. I love a good creamy white or yellow floral. And Tiare Flower is one of my favorites. But the combination of that with that creamy coconut and those solar notes, it just, it's, it's warmth. I love wearing a warm fragrance in the summertime. Like, I want my skin to smell heated, like... Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I want my skin to smell like I've been out in the sun. Like, like I'm just hot, you know? And that's what this gives. If you are looking for something that is going to have enormous projection and insane longevity, especially if you do plan on going on vacation and you're going to be poolside, this right here, you're going to smell it all day, all night. Even if you don't smell it, everybody else is going to smell you. I promise you. Um, I love this fragrance so much. It still stands as one of my favorites from Montal. I have so many other Montal fragrances that I want to put in my collection. I just haven't gotten around to it. But even though Montal does have more, I don't know, sometimes their, their fragrances can come off a little bit more synthetic. Uh, they still stand to be some of my favorite fragrances out there, especially in the niche world. I feel like um, as far as price goes, not terrible at all. And as far as the fragrances go, they are unique. And if you're wearing a Montal or a Mancera, you you know you're wearing a Montal or a Mancera. <laughs> you know their DNA. Um, and I just, I love this fragrance. If you want something that is going to be that girl for summer, I feel like if you just pick this up, like if you're someone who isn't really into summer fragrances and you just want one, just get this. It will cover everything. It's something that can be dressed down and something that can be dressed up. It's perfect for all occasions if you're going for that warm summer vacation feel. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm wrapping up my filming for today. I'm tired, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that gives you some insight into some new fragrances and also some existing ones that I think are just everything for summer. Um, I really have like gotten rid of a lot of like the more summery fragrances in my collection, either because they have been triggering my migraines or because I just don't wear them. I don't wear a lot of summer forward fragrances. I don't wear a ton of fruity fragrances. Warm, spicy is like my go-to. Um, and so I have kind of been whittling down my collection I go through periods where I'm adding to my collection a lot and then I'll go through periods where I'm kind of taking away and enjoying what I have and right now I'm really happy with what I have and these are like my main staples um the others that I have there are a couple of others that I have too that I really wanted to talk about but they're discontinued you can't get them anymore and they're very hard to find so um I figured I would leave it at this Y'all let me know what are some of your favorite summertime fragrances. I haven't really been in a fragrance shopping buying mood, but I do want to do a little looking around. I do still want to add some mango fragrances to my collection as well. Um, is it Cruz del Sur 2 from Zerzhov? I really want to get my hands on, and I've been meaning to put mango scan in my collection forever and still haven't. Um, and also there's a new one from Mew Mew that I really want to try out as well. So y'all let me know, what fragrances are you loving, especially for the spring and summer? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since I've done a fragrance video. I'm sorry, but I just haven't really had much to talk about in the fragrance world. So yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Into dreams, baby. What can I do when a million?